Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of area, perimeter, and volume. This is standard 5.4D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number six, which is a new item type called Hotspot off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is a hotspot, which means we've got five possible selections here, right? And you have to select two. So if I selected these first two, as much as I'm going to try to click on any of these other three, I cannot select any of the other three unless I deselect one of the first ones. So it's impossible to select three. Watch what happens if I just select one and try to move on. It's going to come up with a, an error message that says you have not solved everything. So hotspot means this is a two point question, one for each correct answer. And we're simply looking at our volume of 64 inches. Now, in case we've forgotten how to do volume, we actually have our reference chart here. So let's open up our reference chart. And it tells us that the volume of a cube uh, is side by side by side. Or if you have a rectangular prism, you see right there on the left, it is going to be length times width times height or base times height. And as you get uh, higher up in school, you start using more of the base times height. So we can use either of those, and I think we have one cube, but for most of these we can use length times width times height. Let's just do that, length times width times height. And we're simply looking at which uh, of these rectangular prisms have a volume of 64 cubic inches. Okay, so length times width times height, look at all of these. They give you each of these gives you three measurements, length, width, and height. So when we're dealing with volume in fifth grade, sometimes it's as simple as multiplying the three numbers together. That's what we're doing here. Though Each of these have three measurements. So let's look at this first one right here. So 2 times 24, I can do that mentally, right? That's going to be 48, and then times 8, right? So this is... 24, 24 times 2 is 48. It's going to be 64. That's 32, 38. Whoa. 384. That is not going to work. Okay. No on the first one. Uh, let's check out this one. So 2 times 4 is 8. So I'm doing these two measurements right here. Always trying to combine two if I can. And then 8 times that other 8. All right, look at that, 64. All right, so that first one, one of my two answers is going to be this little guy right here. So let me select that one. So that one's good. Four times four times four. Okay. Uh, well, that's a cube. So four times four is going to be 16. And then I need to multiply that 16 times that last four. 24, 4, look at that, 64, so this works. So uh, this cube is actually, and that's why uh, 64 is a cube number, it's a perfect cube, it's 4 times 4 times 4 makes 64. All right, so I think I've got my two answers. Let's just eliminate these other two. So, wow, look at this one. Uh, long and skinny, let's do these two mentally. 20 times 2 is 40, so I need 42 times 40. And the first row is going to be zeros. Second row is going to be eight. Wow. 1,680. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Way too large. And it looks like these are drawn to scale. So if that's too large, look at my two correct answers. Look how tiny they are. I'm assuming this one, last one, is going to be way too large. But let's just double check. So 22 times 10. Wow. 220. Right, you just do the 22 and add the 0. But now I've got to do 32 times that. Okay, 0, 4, 4. And that's going to be 0, 6, 6. Holy cow, 7,040. Okay, so much too large. These two are the two that I chose are the two smallest ones, so that ends up uh, making sense. So those are my answers.